We're taking to the skies this week, and we're going to pull on every trick that we know. Let's get to it. Grab a snack, it's going to be a long one. Okay, first of all, download the PDF of the templates I made from the link in the description below. Cut out the foundation piece, trace it onto double corrugated cardboard, and cut that out and apply corrugation cladding. Now I ran out of chipboard so you see me using a very thin corrugated cardboard here but ideally from chipboard you would measure out a perfect circle with a radius of two and three quarters of an inch then draw perfect quadrants using the trick that we talked about back in episode 25 and cut them out. You only need two of them. Hot glue them to the back of the foundation as shown. This is the back of the ship. Now use the template for the sides and cut out two of them, again from chipboard. Hot gluing them on can be tricky, so first only do the back curve where it joins the quarter circles that we just attached. Once that's totally cooled, Bend the piece so that the bottom edge has good contact with the foundation all along. You can see in the picture here about where that's supposed to be. So I hold it there and draw a line on the foundation and then apply hot glue along that line and then attach the side. Again using the template provided, cut out the deck piece from chipboard. Get some craft sticks and hot glue some to one side of it going across. This is just reinforcement for later so that it won't flex. Place the deck into the boat. You can see it should sit about 3 quarter inch recessed down below the edges. Apply a thin bead of hot glue all around the seam and press it while it cools. Apply a solid coat of dark brown to the foundation and a solid coat of black to the deck and a solid coat of red to the body. On the back edge of the body cut some thin strips of chipboard less than say a quarter inch wide and hot glue them on. Now apply a metallic gold to those two strips as well as the entire corrugation cladding all along the foundation. Now prepare about 30 wood planks using the technique we talked about back in episode 7. Chop these to varying lengths and hot glue them to the deck, starting with the middle row and working your way outwards. When you need to cut these slanted pieces here, just eyeball the angle and then cut that as needed. Now apply a light wash of black to the body. I should have done this before the deck, but I didn't realize how bold the red was going to be and I changed my mind late in the game.
Let's do a little embellishment. Again from chipboard, measure out a long strip, about a quarter inch wide, and at one end of it, draw a swirl. Cut this out, paint it metallic gold, and apply it to the side of the ship using a glue stick instead of hot glue. Here's a wood cylinder that I got from an assorted package of wood bits from the crafting store. You've probably seen this before. Just paint it brown and hot glue it just behind the bow of the ship. This will be the mounting point for a couple of things, so make sure it's strong. Here's two more of those cylinders and a kebab skewer that I've painted metallic silver. Thread the cylinders onto the skewer and adjust the position until the length of the skewer is sticking out front of the ship at a distance that you like. Chop the skewer to that length, cutting it right where it meets the mounting point. This mast is going to be attached to the ship using hot glue at two points, the one seen here. So first thread one cylinder onto the skewer to where its final place will be and apply hot glue to the inner side of it. Then thread the other cylinder on as shown. This will spread the hot glue out so that it simultaneously touches and bonds both cylinders and the skewer. Take this assembly and hot glue it to the ship as shown. Now we'll build the bridge. Using the template, cut out two of the bridge support pieces from chipboard and paint them metallic gold. These are jumbo crafting sticks which we used back in episode 10, prepared the same way. Chop two segments to three inches long. On the underside, hot glue some scrap pieces to join them together. And while you're at it, chop two additional 3-inch segments. Unfortunately, I had a camera malfunction, but this is self-explanatory. Hot glue the planks to the supports as you see here. Now take this whole assembly and hot glue it to the deck as far back as you can, making sure that it's centered. Now let's get started on the sails. Cut up some more kebab skewers. You're going to need five pieces, all of them four and a half inches long. Apply a blob of hot glue to some chipboard. Take two of the posts and stick them in in a V shape, about a 60 degree angle, as you see here. Once that cools, apply some more hot glue to the joint and apply the middle post. This one you need to hold the other end up in the air, about two to three inches, for a good two minutes while the glue totally cools. Then add some hot glue to one side of the joint and apply another post there, halfway between the other two. And again, you need to hold this one in the air, but only about half as high as you did the middle one. And we do the same for the last post. And this is what you get, a nice curved rigging for our sail. Just peel the joint off of the chipboard Tear away any paper that came with it, and paint the posts brown.
With a healthy blob of hot glue, attach this rigging to the mounting point. Make sure you pay attention to the angle, depending on how swooped back you want your sails to be. And at the same time, make sure you pay attention to the alignment, meaning make sure that it's straight. An easy way to do that is to look at the center post and make sure that it's parallel with the deck boards. Here's another random wood bit from the craft store. Scotty uses these for abrasures. Paint it brown and hot glue it to the deck pretty much in the center of the ship. Paint another kebab skewer brown. Stake one end of it in the center mount and just kind of look at where the center post of the sail rigging is. Cut the skewer to the needed length and then hot glue both ends in place to provide some much needed reinforcement to the sail rigging. Chop a 3 inch post and glue it to the bridge supports at the back as shown. And now build another sail rigging exactly as we did earlier, except that this time the posts are 7 inches long. Hot glue this whole assembly to the center support post we installed earlier, about an inch from the top of it. And I had another camera malfunction, but this is self-explanatory. You can see I cut two more posts and I used them to connect the cross beam on the bridge to two of the sail posts, the ones immediately to each side of the center. And as for all those blobs of hot glue that you see at the connection points, just paint them the same color brown. Now for the sails themselves, again capitalizing on Scotty's techniques here, this is a sheet of paper towel. Lay it over the rigging and chop off the gross excess. Leave some excess, that's fine, but you'll see that you can remove a lot of the sheet right now, which is very helpful later on during the wet work. So after soaking it and squeezing it out, lay it flat and brush on some of our PVA sealant mixture. Again, two thirds white glue and one third water. The thing should be pretty soaked at this point. Lay it over the rigging and make sure it's pulled taut and that it goes all the way up to the front rigging connection point. Notice I have some bunched up dry paper towel here as well. You'll find that the sail will probably drip and if it does, just shove some paper towel underneath to absorb it and protect your workspace and the ship. In about three hours it was bone dry and nice and crispy. Cut off the excess with scissors and the net result should look kind of like a bat wing. This is Craft Smart Suede. I'm just going to apply a solid coat of it to the top of the sail. I didn't bother painting the underside at all. Now we can cover up the main mounting point in the front. Cut a strip of chipboard about an inch wide, run it through your fingers to induce a natural curve to it, and just kind of work it into place. Chop it down as you need to. And hot glue it to the deck and to the mounting point itself to cover all that stuff up. Paint it dark brown. And as an embellishment, I cut a thinner and shorter bit of chipboard here and tapered both ends. I hot glued this over and uh, painted it metallic gold to match the rest of the ship. Now you parents out there will probably recognize these twist off tops for applesauce pouches. Actually, it was when I first saw these on the counter that I decided that someday I had to do an airship tutorial vid. Anyway, base these in black using spray paint, not acrylic. It's better at sticking to the glossy plastic surface, and it's easier to coat the inside of them. For these turban pieces, I cover the outside surfaces with metallic silver. Then I'll take some light blue and light purple and just nick at the inner edge to make sort of a magic engine fusion glow kind of thing and then just hot glue them onto the sides of the ship. 
For these propeller types, I hot glue one to the other, 90 degrees off. And then paint them metallic silver and hot glue them to the back of the ship, ideally in a symmetric manner like you see here. And a few last embellishments. Here's some random beads that I got from the craft store. I'm just going to hot glue these together into a totem or something like that. And then hot glue one into each corner of the ship. And then lastly I just took some plain white and went all around the ship adding touches here and there. Simple wavy lines and dots will work wonders for you to make the thing look more mystical. Oh, and one last thing, to keep the thing upright on the table while you're playing, uh, just take these random wood bits again from the craft store, paint them black, and use them to prop up each side of the ship. And we'll just toss some minis on here for scale. The important thing is to prop up the back, that's where most of the weight is. Oh, and as we do this fly around, you'll notice one other thing I didn't go over. I painted some stripes on the sails, just uh, plain black out at the edge, and then about a half inch in from that, a stripe of metallic gold. Um, I kind of wanted to tie the whole ship together as far as the color scheme. I didn't want it to be too eclectic. Uh, I think if you did, you'd want to go full throttle, so use all the colors of the rainbow, or use a very defined set to get either a coherent look or just a wild, arcane out there kind of steampunk look. So this thing is not frail but not sturdy. Um, you're fine to tap on the sails and move the thing around but you know if you're if you let, let the weight of your arm on it or something you're gonna crush the sails. So you gotta be kinda gentle with it. Keep it up on a shelf on display when you're not using it. For all of you actual artists out there who have a mind's eye, unlike me, uh, I, would, I would imagine that this is just a blank slate for all kinds of awesome embellishments you could do. Alright, so we got through it. I am Wylock, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.